You are watching the station for public broadcasting. Tune in tonight for an encore presentation of Common Wonders with Sir Roger Pemington. Up next, Ed Newbaum's Science Corner. Hi, I'm Ed Newbaum, and welcome to Science Corner. I'm in L.A. going to get hotter. Even though politicians, religion kings, and some bird-brained scientists are still debating it, global warming or global heatification or hot globe is real, and it's here. For years, man has been recklessly abusing Earth's natural resources, burning irreplaceable fossil fuels, and turning his back on less destructive energy sources like bees. How bad is global heatification for us humans? Well, before I answer that, let me show you what's happening to the Earth in a new segment I call Explotelia Nation. Global heatification is when burned fossil fuel residue floats up to the ozone layer, which is like Earth's natural sunblock. This residue eats away at the ozone layer, much in the same way cheese would be eaten from a cheese cart at a fancy restaurant. But instead of blocking you up, the residue opens holes, allowing the full power of the sun to get in and overheat the Earth. This sun exposure causes the Earth to sweat. Too much sweating will raise the sea levels and flood the Earth. To prevent this from happening, the Earth has a built-in safety mechanism, Earth Brain. The Earth is a living, breathing thing, and with all living things, it has a brain. Right now, Earth Brain lies dormant, but too much heat will cause it to awaken, and then we're in trouble. When Earth Brain wakes up, it'll tell the Earth to stop spinning so it can cool down. This process is called still stall. Then, the Earth will start to move away from the Sun. The further it moves through the galaxy, the cooler it will get, until finally it reaches heat off. During heat off, ice will cover the globe and put Earth Brain back into hibernation. We can't escape this from happening. Man has caused too much damage. All we can do is speed up the process and get it over with. More pollution is the answer to our survival. My scientific recommendation is to burn more fossil fuels, even to go as far as setting fire to dinosaur fossil bones. It's the only way to wake up Earth Brain. Wow, global warming sounds pretty dangerous. Let's get some more facts from an expert. Take a ride with me down. Hey! Have a move. Expert Avenue is an unscripted, predetermined chat conversation between Ed Newbaum and an expert of his choice. Each session is unedited and rehearsed to give you, the viewer, a free-flowing, opinionated look at both sides of today's current events. Today's guest is the star of some of the biggest natural disaster blockbusters. From the mud to rain pain, he's going to let us know what's in store when global warming strikes back. Now, Jesse, again, thanks for coming in today. I'm a huge fan of yours. Hey, no problem. Glad to be here. In the movie Mudmare on Slide Mountain, you play a forest ranger who gets trapped on a mountain while rescuing hikers. Will global warming be as intense as some of those action scenes? I mean, probably. It'll probably be like better CGI because it'll be like in real 3D, you know? Yeah, it's going to be totally action-packed. Your character in Rain Pain was a psychic who could predict when storms were coming, warning people of danger. Is there any way to predict how many people will be killed or burned horribly by this global heatification? You know, I'm not sure. I mean, I did just finish the sequel to Mudmare on Slide Mountain, Mudmare 2, Slide Aside, and it looks pretty awesome. It was directed by Kurt Vascular. You know, he's great to work with. 
Like, there's this one scene where this girl, like, gets trapped in the mud, and this mud monster is attacking her, you know, it's got, like, hands and a face and stuff, and it starts to take her clothes off, and she's hella scared at first, but then she, like, really starts to get into it, and she's, like, doing the mud monster. It was totally cool. That sounds totally cool. Yeah, totally. Totally. Are you, like, Bill Nye's brother or something? Well, Jesse, we'll be on the lookout for your upcoming natural disaster movies. And soon we'll get to star in our own natural disaster movies when the Earth gets ravaged by global warming. Okay, thanks. Yeah, cool. Science Corner has a sponsor now. So here's their commercial. Eh. Everyone loves flip flops. But what we all hate is hot foot. Yeah! Oh. Unlike a shoe, a flip-flop leaves human flesh exposed. This exposure is the number two cause of hot foot. Well, not anymore. Introducing the Sock Flop. The comfort and stylability of a flip-flop with the protection of a sock. We took a flip-flop and applied a layer of grapple goo. Grapple goo! Then a protective sock with cotton fiber strands. Cotton fiber strands! Came the steel staples each of the four grip zones. Four grip zones! An added glory hole for big toe comfort. Get your toe in And now there. you're doing it! Sock flop! Now with the purchase of three or more pairs of sock flops, get a certified shade helmet. Protect that big toe with a shade helmet. Just goo it up and goo it on. Now you're doing it! Sock flop available at all footer stores or wherever sock flops are sold. Now back to Science Corner with me, Ed Newbaum. Hey, hey. It's time once again for another minute of Ed Newbaum's ponderings. Have you ever pondered about these before? Black spottles all over the sidewalk and streets. Are they dangerous? Where do they come from? Hmm. Through research vacationing, I figured it out. Every four millionth raindrop is made of concentrated cloud tar from burned fossil fuel residue. This tar builds up and gags our clouds forcing them to excrete the tar by hacking up. As the clouds hack and cough up cloud tar, they make a sound. That's thunder! Science! Our clouds are turning into nasty homeless people smoking and hacking all day. Our skies are turning into streets littered with diseased, lazy cloud people. Soon, they look like our inner city ghettos. These cloud cities will be filled with corruption and chaos. I've seen this before. The only solution to the problem is you have to make sure. This has been exactly one minute of Ed Newbaum's ponderings. Now back to the show. Now to take a break with Rex Lexington out in the field. Does he still work with us? We're here in the Fire Rock Canyon of Death Valley for today's example. Our PETA supervisor from last week's show quit when we accidentally gassed two healthy parakeets. The gas affected my voice a little, and the birds exploded. Before he quit, though, he reported us to Hands Off. Hands Off is like the Illuminati of animal rights organizations. They threatened us with a hefty lawsuit and death if I ever touch an animal again. They also assigned me a certified beast wrangler. So we're going to push forward here down the field. Hopefully with the Beast Wrangler here, anything that might go wrong will be my fault. Okay, so global warming is real and it's dangerous. But what can we do to adapt and survive this tough time to come? Well, much of the same way this microwave here cooks our food, our sun will begin to cook us. Without the protection of the ozone layer, well, become walking hamburgers or hot dogs, or if they don't eat meat, some sort of a baked tofu dish. Some creatures, though, like this hot breath iguana, won't mind the increase in Earth's temperature. See, he's cold-blooded, and he needs the sun's heat to survive. But, just like setting this microwave on high for an extended amount of time and overcooking your food, too much sun can be harmful even for cold-blooded animals. Uh, uh, huh? Uh, What's going on? My pacemaker. Your pacemaker? Huh? This stupid show. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I don't think that Rex Lexington's into it anymore either. I don't know what happened to him. He's just, I don't think he's that into it, that's all. Oh, you think that's why? <laughs> yeah, I think that Jim's also good. No, Jim is the one. I think we have to write a new segment for Jim. Okay, we'll talk more tonight, okay? Okay, my sweet licorice Todd? You know it. Okay, smoochies. Okay, bye-bye. It's a bit warm I'm out here. a bit here. parched. Thank you, Uganda. You are my sweet licorice treat. Ah, it's so hot in here. Thank you for the water. Whew. Could I have something to drink too, Ed? This is all the water we have, Craig. Oh. I'm interviewing a scientist. So your name is Craig and you're an environmentalist? Well, actually, it's Dr. Craig Yohyman. I am a professor <laughs> at Warwick University. You know, this is kind of an uncomfortable place to have an interview, uh, Ed. Uh, it's deal a with pretty it, Craig. important subject. Well, like I was saying, I am a professor at Warwick University, a leading global warming expert, and the author of the best-selling book on the subject, Our Globe, Our Problem. Yeah, so you would agree that the only solution to global heatification is to speed up the process, getting us to still stall faster so the Earth can breathe and cool down again? <laughs> idea that the Earth will stop spinning and cool down is uh, simply insane, Ed. Why well, Albany Nanny and fear pressure, Craig? Uh, are, are you a real scientist? Where, where did you study? Don't try your Harvard mind confusion mess you up on me. Just answer the question, Craig. Uh, what question? Nanny Nanny and Craig, what gives? Yeah, this isn't an interview. I, I, I'm leaving. Craig, our viewers want to know why you and all the dirt rapers are lying to the good people of Earth. You say to conserve energy, when shouldn't we be doing just the opposite? I am appalled. Dirt rapers? What does that even mean? Well, there's tree huggers and they're bad enough. And then there's dirt rapers who bring it over the edge of common sense. Like you, Craig. <laughs> so, Ed, you aren't using common sense, sir. I, 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 See? I, you're flustered, Craig. Your lies are taking over your body. Soon you turn into a lie wolf who feast on the flesh of good, honest, hard-working people. People who want to drive big trucks over long distances so they can work mindless day jobs. Zombies to their masters, the big corporations. The same corporations that make the trucks and provide the fuel. The fuel that when burn will cause global warming. The same global warming that will cause Earth brain to awaken, starting Earth's long journey through the galaxy away from the sweltering heat of the sun. Finally, the Earth will begin to cool, forcing the last remaining humans to turn up their gas-powered heaters, starting global heatification all over again. Thus, the cycle of life is complete. It's the natural way, Craig. Well, folks, it looks like Dr. Craig liar-faced jerkhead face couldn't handle the heat of vacation and the tough job ahead for us Earth people. We have to speed up the process of global warming if we want to live. So, avoid public transportation, and if it's 70 degrees outside, turn up your air conditioners. You deserve to be cooler, and you're also lending a helping hand. I just hope for all our sake, the Earth hears our calls and awakens its Earth brain.
have Jim here. He's a certified beast wrangler, and he has Henry, who is a rare hot breath iguana. Now, Jim, where where does Henry come from? Henry comes from around here and there, but um, people are start, starting to believe that some of the cells that are inside of Henry are actually from an asteroid from 65 million years ago. Interesting. So do you, do you uh, suppose that there are more lizards or more creatures like him out there that also came from asteroids? For sure, Rex. There's a lot of hybrid uh, animals out there. There's uh, some alien DNA interspliced into a lot of these animals. That's why they're so crazy looking. Now, is this a government cover-up? Uh, is this common knowledge, or why haven't we heard about this before? Well, it's common knowledge if you know it. <laughs> Little joke I have. It's a good one. Right now he's getting a bit nervous here, and uh, what we have to do is uh, say shh, 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 no, 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 more like this, shh, there he is. <laughs>